Lane with CraftyLifeMom.com. I am back again today with another DIY tutorial using items from the Dollar Tree. So today's DIY is a farmhouse decor item. It is a window frame with a wreath hanging in the middle of it. And again, all of these items uh, were used to create this were from the Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you how you can make this for your home. Let's get started. Okay, so for the materials you're going to need, you're going to need some white acrylic paint, some ribbon, some greenery to make the wreath, and four Dollar Tree canvases. I chose the four by six size canvases for this project. You can certainly choose to do bigger ones, but this is what the Dollar Tree had on hand and I thought this would make a really great size to display the frame in my kitchen or even on a favorite wall that I have by my front entry. To start, what you're going to want to do is remove all of the plastic from all of your frames and then using an X-Acto knife or a knife blade, box cutter, whatever you have on hand, go ahead and slice the canvas on the outer edge of the staples from the frames. Just be careful that you don't cut yourself and just take extra care here. Um, what you'll do is once you've sliced the edges is remove the canvas from the back side. Now you can see here that the staple and a little bit of the canvas remained in the wood and you can go back and just pull that off. You'll want to do this to all four of your frames um, because the wood frames are what you are going to put together to make the one big window looking frame. So it will take a little bit here just to remove all of that. And I did not remove the staples from the back. I did remove all of the canvas, but I did not remove all the staples. Now, if you have one sticking out or you kind of tug at one and it pulls out, then you'll want to go ahead and lift that staple out just so it doesn't snag anything or you don't cut yourself but for the most part I left all of the staples in the back of the frames because you're not going to see them anyways so I didn't take the extra time to remove the staples from the back of the wood frames and you can see here I'm just finishing up my last one again just slicing the canvas edge and pulling the canvas away from the wood frame and the staples and then you will have all four pieces ready to go and to put together so that you can make your faux window frame. Okay, so what you wanna do is go ahead and secure and glue all four frames together. And what I did was using hot glue just added two frames together and then made one set of two and then my second set of two frames and then I glued with my hot glue gun again the two sets of two together to create the four pane window frame and you can see here I just kind of pressed it and secured it using my hot glue. Okay, so for the back of the frame, I took some popsicle sticks that I had in my craft stash and actually hot glued them down on the joint areas on the back of the frame where the wood frames connected. And I just felt like this would just give it a little bit of extra security and a little bit more stability to the actual frame itself. And I just used three sticks to do right there on the cross sections of where the frames joined. Once that glue was set and dried, I took some scissors and just went back in and cleaned some up the areas that were kind of showing a little bit of canvas pieces there off the scissors and basically just got it ready for paint. Okay, so now it is time to paint the actual frame. I chose to use a white acrylic paint that I had in my crafting paints. You can certainly use any color that you want or you can even use chalk paint. I know several different crafters and DIYers love to use a chalk paint. I didn't have any of that lying around this time, so I actually just picked up my white acrylic paint. Both paints work actually well, and you can do whatever color you want, like I said, for this frame. Now, I did like the white paint choice because most window frames are rustic 
window frames that you see or find in vintage shops, they are white or a distressed white. So that's the look I was going for and that's why I chose to do a white frame. Make sure that you get all of the edges on the outside and the inside. Any areas that you might see um, from a different angle, if it's hanging up on a wall or in your kitchen if it's on display because you don't want to see any of the original wood. So make sure that you take note to get the inside edges and the outside edges as well when you're painting. Okay, so I went ahead and added a little bit of gel stain to the outer edges of the frame just to give it a little distressing. And then I went to assembling the wreath and ribbon portion of this DIY. So I just cut a little bit of ribbon to size, like where I wanted the wreath portion to hang. And then I took some of that garland area, twisted it together to make a circle and put it through the ribbon. Then I used my hot glue and just secured the ribbon to the top and back edge of the frame. And that was pretty much it. Just positioned it to where I wanted it and it was set. Okay friends, so that about does it for this DIY. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, keep them coming, leave a comment below and let me know what you'd like to see me create next and don't forget to hit that red subscribe button. I'll see you next time, bye.